Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So, continuing our series on testing prospective materials for improvised body armor, I went and cut up an old tire. Uh, it's a steel belted tire. You can probably see the layers or plies of steel wire uh, in the rubber there. And we've got uh, five thicknesses of it uh, clamped together here. So let's shoot it and see if it'll stop a bullet. As usual, I'm going to begin with the 9mm handgun, representing sort of the lower half of the handgun power spectrum. Well, I saw two entrance holes, there and there, although they're pretty small entrance holes, that rubber is really self-healing. I don't see any exit holes in the back panel. Okay, it looks to me like both of these 9mm bullets were captured in the fourth layer of tire rubber. Uh, one of these has an entrance hole and a bulge with no exit hole. The other one you can see, see the bullet sticking out the back. So, it took four layers of tire tread to stop a 9mm bullet. Uh, these layers are roughly a half an inch thick. I mean, the thickness isn't uniform, because these are, of course, from a well-worn tire. Well, the 44 Magnum made much more distinct entrance holes, even though they're still a lot smaller than 44 caliber. But, if anything, it looks like the penetration was a little bit less. I can see one bullet lodged between the second and third layer, and another one between the third and fourth. I don't know how well you can see in there on the camera. There's our two 44 Magnum bullets. Jacket came off of one of them. And finally, let's try the 223 as representative of light rifle fire. Okay, so the 223 entrance holes are almost invisible. I think that's one of them, and I'm guessing that's the other one. But it's really hard to tell them apart from just random scuffs on the tread. <laughs> However, once again, we don't see any exit holes. And I'm seeing a 223 bullet just under the last layer or at the interface between the fourth and fifth layers. So, there we have it. It took four layers of steel belted tire to stop a 55 grain 223 rifle round. And I think they were both in there. I can see the the exit holes of both rounds in the fourth layer, but nothing exited the fifth. You know, I've often heard people say that if you're in a gunfight or if there's somebody shooting at you and you want to hide behind a vehicle, the best place to hide is to crouch down kind of by the front tire. And I can see a variety of reasons why that might be a good place to hide. Uh, for one thing, just from the standpoint of concealment, uh, a vehicle only touches the ground on the four tires. And so if you're not crouched down by one of the tires, someone might see your feet. Uh, 
Uh, then again, from a standpoint of cover, uh, you know, looking for things that would actually stop bullets, if you crouch down by the front wheel, well, inside the car, you know, you're, you've got the engine and or transmission that are sort of in that general area, at least on most makes and models of vehicles. So that puts a lot of mass of uh, steel components between you and a possible threat on the other side of the vehicle. Um, and then two, you've got things like the brake rotor and other steel components of the drive system uh, in, in and around the wheel assembly. But from what we've seen here today, tire rubber itself actually provides a non-trivial amount of ballistic protection. Now, you do need a couple inches of thickness of uh, steel belted tire rubber to effectively stop bullets, uh, but five layers of steel belted tire was successful at stopping not only handgun rounds, but also light rifle fire. So this was certainly an interesting task to do, and it's really been one of the more successful materials that we've tested. Anyway, until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.